Yo, BJ Gador with the Daily BJ, and this is the Extended ROM Gains Workout. ROM means range of motion. Extending the range of motion is one of the most overlooked ways to build more muscle and strength, bulletproof your joints, and make lighter loads go a longer way. I'm gonna show one of my five favorites, not one of, my five favorites, and you can turn this into a workout as described in the description of the video, or just pick any one of these moves and add them to your current gym routine or your next program. So here's one. So many ways to do it. You're gonna elevate your feet onto low boxes or steps, uh, this is what's called a hinge to sumo deadlift pattern. Really great for the glutes and hams, mobility, and what it allows me to do is with the steps, I can actually go further than I would uh, to the floor because now the dumbbell can travel further. You can do this with a kettlebell too, but if you're gonna use really elevated steps, the dumbbell is better because uh, most people will never have the kettlebell touch the floor. I'm going to hinge at the hips, all right? Start here, just gonna pick it up first here, all right? So knees are slightly bent. You hinge at the hips as far as you can until you assume tabletop. I like to get a little bit lower. As long as that low back remains flat, you're good. Then I'm just gonna sit right up. So get a good one to two second hold in that stretch position. Sit into that squat, sumo deadlift pattern for one to two, and then come right up and keep repeating that pattern. So good for stretching and lengthening the hamstrings, building the entire back side of the body and improving hip mobility and stability. And you can rock that one out, all right? I love that. Man, that feels so good. You could also, by the way, just do the hip hinge only, the sumo deadlift only. I just wanted to show you something new and unique. Uh, one of my favorites for building the chest and strengthening the entire core is extended range of motion push-ups or parallel push-ups. You can use dumbbells as push-up handles. Lots of options. I like the Libert equalizers. Uh, they have nice good push-up handles. Go to gardengains.com to see where to get this equipment and save. So what I'm gonna do is get into a push-up position and now I can get lower besides the fact that these push-up handles give me a palms facing neutral grip, which is very wrist and shoulder friendly. Elbows nice tight to the side. Get a good two to four second pause at the bottom. Stretch those titties and then don't just push up, push away at the top. Get that serratus anterior muscles right there working protraction, all right? So two to four second hold here, push all the way up. This is excellent for max reps. If you're getting a lot more than 10 reps on this with this tempo, just elevate your feet to make it a lot harder. The extended range of motion Bulgarian split squat, my favorite lower body builder. You get full hip flexion, very easy on the knees, hammers the quads and glutes. And you can do this with body weight, you can do it with so many different loaded options. I'm gonna show goblet style here, low box step, Elevate your back foot in a box bench chair ottoman. I like a closer stance for more quad stress and better spinal positioning. I'm gonna lower and control. Hold for two to four seconds in the stretch position. Staying tall up top, knee hovering just above the ground. Push up, all right? This will change your life. If you're not used to this, start body weight. These are gonna be so sore for three to five days. Again, that stretch is what can really cause muscle soreness if you're not used to being in those positions, but it's also what allows you, again, if you can go very rarely in sport, athletics, we have to get that low, but if you can get that low with control, it gives you that buffer to be a lot safer under higher stress intensive situations. But again, you'll squeeze out so much more muscle gain, less spinal stress. Overhead swings, now some people knock this and say, that's so stupid, just go heavier. The thing is, a lot of people don't have access to um, many different kettlebell weights, and it's not just about going overhead to make it look cool. What happens is, there's a greater gravitational load coming down with the same load. So now the glutes and hams and the entire backside of the body, posterior chain, has to decelerate that weight and it creates an incredible explosive power effect. In fact, you could compare it to something like a snatch, which is a little more technical because you have to kind of dip under the weight. There's, there's movement, especially with a kettlebell or even a barbell. There's, there's very technical skill-based type of stuff with that. With the swing, you're just coming overhead. It doesn't have to be overhead, by the way. If you're used to going to the chest, maybe just go to the forehead. Okay, if you're worried about coming overhead, the key though, if you do go overhead, you've got to really squeeze the handle tight with your grip so the bell doesn't shift on you, okay? So again, if you don't like this one, don't do it. I'm just showing my five favorite. You gotta do what works for you and your body and what you feel is right for you. So here we go. Normal swing is just the chest level. You might find, eh, I can do a lot more than 20 reps on that. Now, increase that. Now, wow, so much more to control down. Exhale through. All right, and also shoulder mobility. I mean, there's so many benefits. And again, some trainers say it's a terrible exercise. I disagree, but we can all agree 
that at least one of these makes sense, right? All right, final one. I hate to show calf workouts because you'd be like, that motherfucker don't know about calves. He got chicken legs, but they're less shitty than they used to be. So here we go. Come on over here, get a good extension. I like doing these off the sand dune stepper. You can save 10% of this at thegardenofgains.com. It gives me that instability to really strengthen the feet and toes. But any low box or step will work even off the edge of a curb or a power rack. You'll make it work. Hands are just there for stability. Good two second stretch. Legs are straight. I almost like to squeeze the quads a bit too to really make sure that all the motion is coming through the ankle here. Glutes are tight. I don't want you swaying at the hips. Come up, squeeze for two. Try to cramp up those calves at the top and then stretch the shit out of them at the bottom. Two second hold at the bottom. Two second hold at the top for maximum repetitions with your body weight or if you have access to a standing calf machine, keep it in a eight to 15 rep range. Ideal for muscle gain and that what you're targeting more there is the gas rock, the upper calf, a little more fast twitch. So, um, you know, medium reps are excellent for that particular muscle group. You could turn all these five into a workout by checking out the description of the video. Please subscribe to my channel for daily workout and notifications of the daily workouts and join the dailybj.com for all the workouts that I share with people that are busy, trying to burn fat at home or take them to the gym. Three 30 minute workouts a week and all my equipment is at thegardenofgains.com. Love you guys, peace.